You might be one of those filmmakers that loves filming everything in slow motion, but sometimes we want to quickly run through our footage and then use slow motion to highlight something exciting or interesting in our footage. And that is what we call speed ramping. And that is what we're going to show you today in Premiere Pro. So here I am in Premiere Pro and I've already imported some footage from ArtGrid. We have our bike trick here and we also have some dance footage that we want to speed ramp and what you might notice over on the left hand side is the frame rate of these clips is actually 25 frames per second now if your camera records at 120 frames per second but writes a 24 25 or 30 frames per second file sometimes referred to as slow-mo mode then your raw clip will be in slow motion so to bring it back to normal speed, we will actually need to increase these clip speeds by about 400 or 500%. And this footage definitely looks like it has been shot in that way. So we're gonna start with our bike trick. And what we want is for the bike to come in at normal speed. And as soon as it leaves the ramp, we want it to play in slow motion. So the speed that we currently have. And then as soon as it lands, we want it to play again in normal speed. So to do that, let's increase the size of our clip, just pull up on it so we can see more. And let's zoom in slightly by pulling this tag down here. And we're going to clip on where it says FX and we're going to right click on that, go to time remapping and select speed. And now we have our speed line and we can increase or decrease this by pulling it up or down to increase or decrease the speed of the clip. So let's find the position of where our bike is about to leave the ramp about there. That's where we want to slow things down. We can hit P on the keyboard to bring up our pen tool. And then I'm gonna create a new point where I want the speed to slow down. If I hit V on the keyboard, I can actually pull out these two points like so. I haven't changed the speed yet. And in order to change the speed, what I need to do is come over to the left hand side where I want the speed to be normal speed. And then I need to pull that up and I need it to be between 400 and 500%. And that should give me normal looking speed for 120 frames per second, which this footage looks like it was originally shot at. So let's have a look at that. So as you can see, he comes in at normal speed and as he leaves the ramp, that's when it slows down. Now if I zoom in further and select one of my points here, it brings up a little toggle with handlebars and I can pull those handlebars to create a curve, like an S curve. And this will help smooth out the transition from normal speed to slow motion. So we have our biker speeding in, slows down, and as he hits, just before he hits, we want to bring this back to normal speed. And we can do that by hitting P on the keyboard, again, selecting the line point where we want that transition to go back to normal speed, drag out these two little bars here. And then on the right hand side, hit V to bring our cursor back. And then we want to bring our speed back up to about four or 500%. I'm gonna go back to 400% out there and that's where he hits and he crashes out and again what I can do is just zoom in select one of the toggles I can even drag these out further if I select it I can bring up my center point with handlebars and I can curve that by just dragging the handlebars and now the transition will be much smoother and we can play that through normal speed trick lands and crashes and there was a little bit of a flick there and you might notice this in your transitions where premiere is trying to catch up you might notice a little jolt don't worry about that when you render this out that will not be there a quick shout out to ArtGrid for sponsoring today's video. ArtGrid has an impressive collection of stock footage with cinematic quality, so you should be able to find stuff that fits perfectly into your projects. The pricing is very reasonable and their website is easy to navigate with a variety of categories to choose from. Also, their standard license allows you to use footage for commercial purposes and monetization. If you're interested, make sure you check out the link below for more details. Right, back to the video. So we have some longer footage here and I believe this was shot in 120 frames per second, but X bought it out as a 25 frames per second clip and this was shot on a gimbal going around a dancing couple and I think shots like this lend themselves to being able to add speed ramps in throughout the clip so perhaps we want to start off slow and then as we move into this spin here we'll speed up and we'll slow down as our dancer goes down here 
and then as the camera comes round we can speed up again and as it makes its way around we'll probably slow down again so we'll add in several speed ramps to this clip so we can do that by letting it play slow and this is where we want to speed things up so we can zoom in and if we right click on our FX button go to time remapping and go to speed we've again got our speed line hit P on the keyboard zoom in slightly drag out the toggle bars or the two corresponding bars we want this to be slow-mo going into normal speed so what we're going to do is we're actually we're going to pull this up to 500 percent maybe 400 percent about there and that probably looks a bit too fast in my opinion so i might bring it down slightly if i bring it to 300 percent let's have a look and we get a bit of jittering here again don't stress too much about that that will not be in the render i select one of the toggles i can create my s curve go from slow-mo into normal speed and then I want to slow-mo here and again I'll hit P on the keyboard I'll create the two points pull them out over time and I will drag this down to a hundred percent so that brings me back to the original slow motion speed I will select one of the toggles I will create the S curve and then it will go slowly and then I think one more speed ramp to go around quickly at this point and then slow motion again. So I'll quickly move across. I'll hit P on the keyboard, create the two points, drag them out, drag up to 300%, I think, where it didn't look too choppy, and then slow down again here. So P on the keyboard, create my two points, drag them out, go over to the right, drag that down to 100% again for normal speed and then select these bars, S curve on one, select the second set of bars, S curve on two and this is, let's just pull this out a little bit, this is how our clip looks. So speed ramping can be used throughout your long take or gimbal shots to add in a nice stylized look. And I'm just going to quickly show you guys the rendered version of these clips to show you that they don't include the jumps and jolts that you've seen in Premiere. So what do you guys think of this technique? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you found today's video useful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the little bell for notifications. Also, make sure you check out our Premiere Pro tutorials playlist where you can find more tutorial videos like this one for Premiere Pro, Photoshop, as well as After Effects. And also go and check out in the description our Skillshare class in getting started with Premiere Pro as well. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All that I've got left to say is stay creative, stay safe, imagine implement and inspire and i will catch you next time on kai creative